Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the indications for the removal of wisdom teeth. The removal of wisdom teeth is one of the most commonly performed surgical procedures within the UK. The wisdom teeth grow at the back of your gums and are the last teeth to come through. Most people have four wisdom teeth, one in each sexton. Wisdom teeth usually grow through the gums during the late teens or early 20s. By this time, the other 28 adult teeth are usually in the place. So there isn't always enough room in the mouth for the wisdom tooth to grow properly. Because of the lack of space, wisdom teeth can sometimes emerge at an angle or get stuck and only partially emerge. Wisdom teeth that grow through like this are known as impacted. The types of impactions include horizontal impaction, mesoangular impaction, vertical impaction and distoangular impaction. Wisdom teeth don't need to always be removed if they are asymptomatic. This is because there is no proven benefit of doing this and it carries the risk of nerve complication. Sometimes wisdom teeth that have become impacted or haven't fully broken through the surface of the gum can cause dental problems. Food and bacteria can get trapped around the edge of the wisdom teeth causing a buildup of plaque which can lead to tooth decay. It can lead to pericoronitis. It can lead to gum disease. It can lead to cellulitis. It can lead to abscess forming. It can also lead to cysts and benign growth. Very rarely a wisdom tooth that hasn't come through the gums can develop a cyst known as a dentigerous cyst. In most cases, if a wisdom tooth needs to be removed before the operation, the procedure will usually be explained to the patient and you'll be required to sign a consent form. Most wisdom teeth surgery can be done under a local anaesthetic to numb the area and patients can usually tolerate this pretty well. Usually a small incision is made in the gingivae and a flap is raised to expose the tooth. Sometimes an osteotomy may be required or section of the tooth may be required also. Prior to performing the surgery, it's important to have necessary investigations such as an OPT radiograph which can show the proximity of the ID nerve to the apices of the roots. Once the wisdom tooth has been removed, there's always a risk of post-operative complications such as pain, swelling, bleeding, small risk of infection and obviously paresthesia. As with any type of surgical extraction, a dry socket can also occur and if you want to see the video above to see how dry sockets are managed. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. If you have benefited, then please kindly like and subscribe to our channel and we'll bring you more videos for you in the future. Thank you. Bye.